In this video, we'll write the equation for RB2CO3 plus water. This is rubidium carbonate, and then we have our water here. So we'll take solid rubidium carbonate, put a little S, it's solid, put it in liquid water, and we want to know what equation we have. Rubidium is a metal, and then this carbonate ion here is a nonmetal. So the metal and this group of nonmetals, it's going to be an ionic compound. Often ionic compounds are soluble in water, but let's take a look at the solubility rules here. So in the solubility rules, the first rule says that group one elements like rubidium are soluble in water. So we know that this is going to be soluble in water right away. That means it's going to break apart, dissociate into its ions. Rubidium, we said that's in group one. That'll be one plus each one of them. And the carbonate ion, two minus. So we'll end up with Rb plus, and remember we have two of them, so we'll put a two here, and we'll have the carbonate ion, CO3, two minus. In both of these, they're dissolved in water, so we say they're AQ, aqueous. So this is the equation for Rb2CO3 plus H2O. Often you'll see the water put above the arrow. This is another way you'll see this written. You'll also see water sometimes written in the products, but since we have aqueous here, we're showing that these are dissolved in water already. So this is the equation for rubidium carbonate plus water. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.